Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday and it's time for a Autumn Fall 2018 sneak peek for the update that's coming within the game. Now the update should be here probably Monday or Tuesday so depending on that this will be the last sneak peek if it's Monday and maybe one more if it's a Tuesday. Now this sneak peek relates to these gorgeous visitors that do come to your house on a regular basis. So there are five key characters that do come. My favourite has to be Grey of course because he looks like me but I do like the other ones as well well. Now these visitors request a quantity of items from you during a regular game style request. Okay, it's not so good. The actual request for the products coinage wise is not brilliant and the XP that they give you is not so great as well. But with this new event that's coming within the game, we're actually going to be asked for something very, very different. So let's send the visitors away and show you an example. Now Greg here as an example is asking for access. Maybe he will ask for a bicycle. He might might ask for flowers, he may even ask for barrels during this event. Now as per usual with every request with every visitor you get three choices. You can say yes here you go, you sell the item, you can say no I don't want to or you can say wait a moment. Now with something like the axes it's usually a big no-no so you're still going to get these visitors asking for something that maybe you don't want to sell. Do not feel obliged to sell it, you can send them away. Now remember when you're looking at the actual value that they are offering, is it value for money? Now with the decoration at the moment we're usually using vouchers, coins or even the gems. Now if we are using coins every time you make a purchase the price increases. So will Greg's price increase based on the number of products he's actually requesting? Now I don't know on that side. We need to find out when the actual event starts. So I'm kind of looking forward to discovering what this new feature will do. Now like with most visitors that request these kind of items I don't want to sell, I just say no and I send him on his way like he's doing here. But that's not the case with all of the visitors. Now with some of the visitors they are going to request items that I don't mind selling. As an example this young lady here is requesting wheat. Now let's just say she's going to request some other items. I've got loads of these items in my storage during this event and maybe I want to sell them to her. Now again I need to consider the price. Is the value that she's offering value for money? If so I'm going to say yes here you go. Maybe I want to consider it a little bit longer. I might say wait a moment, especially if I actually want to get a few more of those items. Now like I said the coinage is the key factor here. You really need to look at what's being offered. If the values are very high I'm going to say definitely we need to sell these products if you don't want them. Now I'm slightly disappointed I can't actually buy them off you myself but during this event you've got the opportunity to sell those decoration back to the actual game. Now at the end of the day, do I think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Now for some people it's basically a good idea. They may have a lot of decoration around their farm that they don't want and they want to get rid of. Like I've got all of these items down here. This is just a small percentage of the items that I've actually got. There's bicycles, there's flower decoration, there's gnomes, there's topiary, there's statue, there's path pieces. There is so much actually in my storage. But at the end of the day, do I want to sell it or not? Well, technically no, I don't want to sell it. I actually want to keep my decoration. So I probably won't be participating in this event too much, unless of course I really need the coins. But even then I doubt it. However, I might sell some of those statues. Now storage wise, this decoration doesn't cause you any issues. It's situated within your actual in-game storage that is behind the scenes. So all of these decorative pieces are there. Now if you are a player that loves decoration, okay you're not going to be selling. But those of you who don't want it, please just go sell it back to the game and get a few coins or a few vouchers or a few diamonds out of it as well. Now, is it going to request like the actual requests do at the moment? Like when the visitors arrive, they usually have a look at what's in your storage and request that one. And quite often it could be the largest quantity. Now, I don't want that. I don't want them requesting all of my path pieces or all of my fences or maybe all of my bicycles. I want them to be requesting items that I don't need. And that's what the Heyday team is going to do. During this event, they will be picking and choosing specific decoration within the game that maybe you want to get rid of. Now I'm again assuming this is the coin decoration, not the gem and not the voucher because the quantity of diamonds that we're using for some of these decorations can be really high. So unless of course it's going to give me more than 90 diamonds, there's no way I'm selling those statues. But even then I wouldn't do it anyway. I love my wickers. So 
the items that will be requested during this event will be chosen by the heyday team you cannot pick and choose what items you want to sell actually yes you can when the visitor says do you want to sell this to me you can say yes you can say no or you can say please wait a moment or you can just leave them there and then they will just disappear at the end of the event and then regular request will come back or maybe during the event itself they might even ask for regular items so even if you're not selling the decoration they might request weed now the great thing about this event you'll start to notice that the decoration will disappear 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 like it's doing now now once it disappears you can't get it back unless you actually decide to go and buy it now for me like i said i'm not going to be doing that you may decide to choose this function okay if so good luck okay now i really do wish i could actually buy more decoration other people maybe in the future that might be a nice option that they will add into the game as well like selling to your friends because uh, i know at the moment within the game you can sell to the visitors or you can sell to the shop or other people so maybe 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 version 2 will add that feature in now remember they are limited amounts okay you can't sell everything in one go but enjoy right now if there is an update coming on monday i will see you on tuesday for my live stream and then we will look at what is new within the game maybe some of these features won't be starting maybe there are a few more items that we haven't told you about in fact i know there are some more things coming but don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on this video let me know your thoughts and feelings and i will see you next time so take care have fun and enjoy selling your deco in this event goodbye now